What's up guys? It's Friday, March 3rd, and I'm heading to Kauai, Kauai, Hawaii. I'm so excited. I haven't vlogged in a while, but I'm vlogging all my vacation, so that's what's happening. I think I did a pretty good job packing. I don't think I overpacked. I only brought like just the right amount of outfits. We're actually going during rainy season, so it might be raining a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. And honestly, that just means rainbows. So I'm so excited. We're doing a lot of nature -y things. We're snorkeling. I went to Oahu twice over the past like three years, but this is a completely different island. And so it's all new territory for me. I think it's supposed to be one of the prettiest nature -y islands of Hawaii. Get ready for a lot of nature -y shots. My flight's at 10, 15 a.m., so not too early. I am slightly early right now just because I woke up freaking early because I always do that because I'm always scared I'm gonna miss my flight. So I wake up extra early before my alarm. So I think we're just gonna go to the airport early and get some breakfast. I'm going with my friend Karen, one of my childhood friends, Karen, who lives in SF. She's gonna meet me there and I'm flying from San Diego. Let's freaking go. The airport outfit's very basic gonna be this in the gray hoodie my lovely microphone actually got a little messed up on the plane there was a setting i didn't know about that turned off one of the microphones there's two on it so the sound quality is not as good as it could be but at least there's still sound at 34,000 feet we'll do it five hours and 59 minutes burning 5,271.3 gallons of fuel sit back relax and enjoy the amazing cross ocean trip into the islands of lahui the island of Kauai. You weave your magic charms around. We successfully landed. Rental car situation is a via Turo because it's way cheaper than like the airline rentals, let me tell you. So we are going to like go to Safeway, get some food, go to the hotel. Today's supposed to be like the worst weather, but it's not even bad. Do you like your bananas like ripe or greener? Like in between, because when it's too ripe. I don't like too ripe bananas. It feels, yeah. Those are good. Okay. First rainbow spotting. Here's food stop. Pokin. It's a small portion, but yeah. you know it's gonna be good. Like, My coworker said we should come here. And she's like friends with a local, so I'll Cheers. take her word for it. What Cheers! Cheers! Oh. <laughs> okay. I think that's like seaweed mm. or something, right? Cheers! Guys, I have barely ate anything today. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. Oh, I think it's like the turnip stuff. My dad used to eat this. Mm-hmm. I could eat this every mm. meal of my life, but I don't- Let's just eat poke every meal. Yeah, like- Why we, not? Because <laughs> like, what else are you gonna eat here? Exactly. I guess like, I don't- For some reason, chicken's like a big there's thing. There's a big chicken. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other like seafood and like stuff like that, but poke is my favorite. Is there a sauce to you try mine? I gotta show you. The sun's out. Like it rained for two seconds and the sun's out now. Yeah. It's... I had to pee so bad on my foot, but I didn't want to get up. <laughs> yeah, same, because I didn't want to make the old people next to me get up. Are you in the window seat? Mm -hmm. I. I think the window seat is superior. I used to be an aisle seat person, but I think now I'm kind of more window seat. Why did you used to like the aisle? I like to be spread out. Mm. The bathroom. You know, ooh, this is actually quite cool. You know, just a normal hotel bathroom. Very standard hotel, but we each get our own bed, which is Queen very bed. nice. And in Hawaii, it's honestly kind of just worth it to get a hotel if you only have like two people. This is our view. <laughs> I'm obsessed with how the sun is like peeking through the clouds for the sunset over there. Karen's got her film camera.
You're so colorful. It is Saturday. We are going to hike some of the trails around Waimea Canyon today. Summer is supposed to be really hard, but they all have pretty good views. We got lucky because all the rain for today happened kind of like while we were sleeping in the morning. And so the rest of the day is supposed to be relatively sunny. Although I honestly don't hate rain because rainbows. Y'all, that trail was no joke getting up here. There was potholes, there was swirls. It's kind of cold. Cracking open. Oh, it's like flying at me. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, do you just drink the rest and I chop it up? How is it? It's a fresh cup. It's so good. It's great. Really? <laughs> you climb, you just climb yourself straight up? The Whoa. trees here seem so skinny though. I guess mean, we're from California, so I don't know. Yeah, I can do about a 40 footer. I just go barefoot. Like to the very top and you kick them? Yeah. You dig it. It's like, like double the size for oh sure. Oh my gosh. Did you just try to do one good split? You got it. Wow. Nice. I'll go too hard. <laughs> yeah, and then you got all the meat in there. So you kind of need to, let me you see. You got something to scrape it with, right? Just use oh, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it actually tastes really like flavorful. Mmm. Whoa. My favorite part's the white stuff. <laughs> Casual. All my thoughts are only you. All my dreams have now come true. Now and ever more. The potholes got someone. Oh, that sucks. Why'd the chicken cross the road, y'all? Everywhere. Okay, they'll, they'll get out of the way. <laughs> They are actually everywhere. They own Bruh. this land, they truly do. Bruh, I'm trying to park here. Oh my god, oh my <laughs> god, coming. stop, get out of here. <laughs> Wait, they're like getting into the uh, car. Get out. Oh, wow. There's one on our car. Get out. <laughs> it's literally about to lay a mess. Guys, this chicken has decided to make our car its home. Dreams have now come true. Trail is a little muddy, but we have our sticks. It's a struggle. Muddy, muddy. Oh, it's been rough. This one's very slippery. Yeah. There is a mini waterfall here that we have to cross. Wilderness explorers today, we really are. Can she make it? Oh, made it! Woo! Woo. Oh no, it's an uphill. This is the home stretch. We're almost to the waterfall. The star of the big waterfall. And just look to the left, and then you'll see there's a bright brown one down there working. Oh, I see them, yeah. There's three or four light ones, and there's three dark ones. So this is our current Worth reward it. for Worth the it. very hard hike. There's the state of my shoes. My socks are completely soaked because I stepped in water. Y'all, we finally found the freaking waterfall. There's like two on top of each other. This is not the hooky low. Dessert sustenance. I love this, whatever this is. I do taste the guava. The fries are really good too. But there's a little bit of ginger in there. No, no. Yeah, this is like fresh off the grill.
It's very creamy. If you dig there's ice cream at the bottom, like a damn man. Definitely good nap spot. Yeah. Sarah's going to the water. My guess is it's kind of chilly. Touchiness. Yeah. This is my night of This is the hour of My arms are open now. My heart has spoken. Like this, though. I like it. It's like an elevated ramen. I am the guy driving you guys' boat. Take care of the boat. Take care of you. Take care of me too. Morning. Good morning. Kaulana ho i o we ku kila kila. We're about to go. Northaline is supposed to be in really good conditions today. Oh my god, wait, what where are those? Dolphins. dolphins. I, I can't tell. They're yeah, dolphins. Dolphins! dolphins. What? Oh my god. If you go all the way to the front of our boat, dolphins are surfing the pressure wave in the bow of the boat. Check them out. And spinner dolphins are the most common dolphins. We see them a lot in the morning. Lots of mornings we see them, not every single morning, but. Can't run over dolphins. Trust me, I've tried this.
That's a big fish at the top. I can't hear you. My ties have come out. I gotta mix it. Unlimited. <laughs> Snorkel tour was like the best decision of our it was lives. So fun! It was oh really fun. I think dolphins were my favorite part. Yeah, we saw we saw dolphins, we saw whales, we saw turtles, we saw everything. Yes, and now we're at a coffee place. It's like a coffee farm where we can just kind of explore around. So we'll see what's up here. It smells so good. Okay, better or worse than yesterday or the first days? I like it better. Actually. This pokey is really good. So freaking tender. Whoa! We're in the tree tunnel, guys. The trees have so many leaves on them. Still have like half the bag. Oh, we can finish it mm -hmm. easily though. Uh -oh. oh, successful day. My favorite part were the freaking dolphins. It's also the whales. There were like that many fish in the snorkeling spot, but honestly, it was still really cool. And I saw a sea turtle. That was the highlight of the snorkel part was the sea turtle. And just in general, like we got lucky and it was like sunny. It was supposed to be cold and rainy during the season, but we got really lucky. So it was like super sunny. And we've been getting lucky in general. Like it really hasn't rained that much. I did get like slightly, just the smallest bit red here, like a little bit burnt. And I really don't burn, but the UV index here is like a 10. This is even with like three layers of sunscreen reapplication. We are going to go to bed early because we have another full day tomorrow. We're heading up the Nepali coast hikes today. And it's supposed to be 70 and sunny, so hopefully not too muddy. Still might be a little muddy though. At least it'll be sunny during the hike. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You too. Wow. I think this might be the best one looks wise so far. A 
bowls looks spectacular. So Got three scoops. One show you, two spicy. I'm gonna try the spicy one first. Mm. Yeah. Oh, a slightly different flavor than I'm used to. Mm. Let's try the long one. Mm. Both really good. This is a lot of fish. I'm gonna be fueled for the hike. Good bang for your buck. Yeah, this is like $19 with tax. I wonder if we were their first customers today. Yeah, we might have been the first customer. Hiking boots, so in muddy. case it's muddy. My shoes are still caked from the other day, but it's dried, at least. It looks like it's in soil, but it's not. I know. Wait, like right behind it. Which stick should I slow? The stick chooses you, is the thing. It's like Master Uwe. They don't look long enough. When you have a trekking pole though, like, it's like a third leg. So you don't need it to be super long. You just want it to be like comfortably here. Otherwise, if you're holding it like this the whole time, you it's know like, what? super uncomfortable. I think mine was too long last time. You're, you're probably holding it really high. Nothing's Let's speaking see. to me. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Maybe this one? This one seems a little too low. Actually, no, if, if 90 degree angle. You know what? This is this might be it. Karen has found her stick. You look the. Th oh, it's like broken. Oh. We got a. Oh, it's so fucking muddy. I know they're all muddy. My hands are already dirty. The stick I have today is way better than the other day. It's really quite easy, guys. <laughs> compared to the other day. We have stumbled upon waterfall number two. Guys, there's literally waterfalls everywhere. There's one here, there's one down there. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. We are straight up in the jungle out here. Like, this is the jungle. this with our own feet. This looks like the easiest path right here. We successfully traversed the river. My socks are very wet. My shoes got a little cleaning, but they're gonna get dirty again on the way back. Here's the beach. The water's very really pretty. Can't really swim in it though. What is this? Anyone now? This is very survivor. I feel like you have to hit it really hard. It's deep though. Like we could stab a thing into it. <laughs> See, someone brought a knife. Like that was smart. I'm scared of it's gonna fall on my head. Guava. Whoa, what else? Oh, the cream on top and the ice cream at the bottom are my favorite. It's a whole piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have some because it's 
because there's no way I can finish this. <laughs> so much sand in here. It's windy though. It's good. So good. Mm. This is my favorite beach we've gone to here so far. Yeah, it's so pretty. Can I try to try? Mm -hmm. I guess the North Shore is the windiest. <laughs> they want our food. Yeah, sorry you can't have any. Wait, why are they- And there's Jesse Pinkman. I love Breaking Bad so much. You need to watch Better Call Saul. Yeah, it's I'll watch so it. Good. Breaking Bad is like my favorite show of all time, pretty much. It's such a well done show. The acting is so good. Princeville today, tour the botanical gardens, which are supposed to be very majestic, and we're getting a chocolate tour, chocolate whatever tour? that means. <laughs> I think we're free just gonna we're gain free, a actually. lot of chocolate. Sarah? I'm Karen. Yeah, that's Sarah. Yeah, I, okay, you guys are together. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm using that. It smells good. Oh, it's like oil. Oh, yeah. Oil legs are the best. Side here, this fruiting tree. I don't see any ripe fruit, but we, we sell some trees that have noni in it. You'll never forget your first noni. Um, the fruit smells like blue cheese. <laughs> Bite into it, it's quite pungent as well. Um, our owner uses it as a cheese substitute on our salads. Native to South Asia, one of the many South Asian plants that grows and thrives here. It's called guanabana as well. Flavor notes, I'm just going to tease because we're working on, we're going to do our chocolate tasting, we're working on our flavor notes. Pineapple, strawberry, sour patch, gummy bear. The oil. We're coming up to our first stop and smell section. So if anyone's familiar with the concept of forest bathing, it's an idea in Japan. Basically you go out into the woods, you breathe in the lichens, the molds, the mildews, the flowers. While that sounds really gross, you always feel better after you do. You're interacting with the world. I will not ask you to smell lichens and molds and mildews, but flowers, definitely. This is a tree gardenia or tabernea montana. You can smell it from 10 feet away. It's even nicer oh, it's from an inch away. Try not to fall off the cliff getting to it, but you want to try and find the white flowers or the nice smells. It smells very good. Whoa. Just very flowery. Oh, no, The Deliciosa Monstera. It's called the Delicious Monster. If you guys see, there's fruit coming out of it. The little, looks like a cycad almost is coming oh, out. Oh, oh, wow. I will warn you though. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> you eat it and you don't if it's not right. It's full of oxalic acid. So oh. you get a fiberglass sandpaper feeling oh. on your tongue, on your back of your throat, possible inflammation, possible oh, choking man. hazard. What? It looks like a sea urchin. It's called Rambutan. It's part of the lychee or the Longan family. It's not allowed to be imported into the United States. It grows in South Asia abundantly, but it cannot be shipped in. Oh. Just peel it? A little bit will give and then you peel it. You heave it, you can then open it inside. Here we go. Oh. You're gonna find five to seven white segments. You eat these white segments, you don't eat the skin. You might find a seed. Whoa. Is it good? I'm just, like skeptical. Mmm. What does it taste like? Sweet. A little sour. Mm. It's called a berry, but it's good marketing to call it a berry. It's a palm. It's the inflorescence of the palm. It's the flowers of the palm. You guys look over and up. You can see all the acai on these ones. Uh, most is harvested from small farms around the Amazon. They like to harvest it, they climb it. I watched a video on how they climb it. They took a few leaves tied them into a circle, tied that around their ankles using hands and feet to fire pole climb up the tree. Acai is a clumping palm that can grow 92 feet tall. Clumping means they all grow from a base. 
Maybe they'll go from a single spot here. So they climb up to the inflorescence. Once they cut it off, they'll swing from one to another so they don't have to climb up and down multiple of them. By the way, these are thin and they do break. They then hopefully safely make their way back down to the bottom. Now once they cut the acai, they're on a time. After you cut it, within 48 hours, you have to freeze it or the oils in it go rancid. You know 95% of acai is not edible. So all over the ground is the husks of acai. It's like a coconut husk, right? It's really 95% of acai is not edible. Right. In order to get that delicious part off, they take it and they smash it. When you smash it, you have acai pulp. You then freeze that, and that's what we consume as acai. Has anyone ever had heart of palm? It's the tip of the palm tree. Um, better example, if you look over at this one, the skinny straight one, up towards the top, there's the inflorescence. On top of that, the big green shaft. On top of that are the branches or the palm fronds. The heart of palm is the big green shaft. It's the growing tip of the palm tree. It's like yeah. sprouts of anything else. Ooh, I do want to point out, you guys check out this tree on the side with the cool roots. They're all over the island. Put your hands in the air, talk to your wrists back fully. You can say, holla! Holla, <laughs> they're holla trees. Holla, holla, holla tree is probably one of the most important pollination for new plants. So they would, the pollination, you take the leaves, strip them down, soak them in salt water, weave them back together. They made sails. For record, they sailed here a thousand years ago. Right? Mm. At the same time the Vikings were crossing the English Channel. On the leaves of the holly, if anyone goes to a traditional hula, they're sitting on a woven mat. It's always going to be made out of the holly. Mm. Bug resistant, salt resistant, it's pretty much everything resistant. Um, we call them tourist pineapples as well. You guys might have seen them up in the tree. So you could eat it, but famine food. So you would eat it if there's no more bananas. Oh my god, it does feel like all that. You know. It's another one of those jade vines I was pointing out. This one's native to the Philippines. Part of the pea family. You could eat these if you wanted to. I've read that they stir fry them. Oh wow, I didn't see it here. Remember me. Will she forget? I think it would make a great cologne, but it smells bad. <laughs> but everyone comes close to make sure that it smells bad, which means it attracted you, which is the whole point of cologne. It's one of our many African plants that's growing here and thriving. You might ask, how do desert plants grow? Really well, as long as there's drainage, right? The problem is if they're sitting in a water, it's a problem. Someday I know. Chocolate's been around for a long time. Endemic to the northern regions of the Amazon. So northern Brazil, Ecuador, Peru. Chocolate typically grows in around the equator now. Started in the Amazon rainforest, but now it's grown around the equator, around the world. A little bit of everything. Thank you. Thank you. There's a mango in there. Mango is part of the poison oak family. Mango skin can cause issues. Mango sap most certainly can cause issues. One 16 foot tall stalk of sugar cane takes a year to grow, makes four to seven grams of refined sugar. It's one to two teaspoons for a year. It's roughly a thousand gallons of water to make one pound of sugar. This is called a lecheso or a Milky Way tree. The flowers on it are white. If you see all the ones that aren't white, these are orchids that have been tied into the tree and are doing really well. Um, it's a South American tree. It blooms white year round. White flowers are to attract night pollinators. The similar. sap is similar to plumeria. So I want to advise you, if you guys see plumeria trees, don't pick the flowers the off Because you'll pick a flower and you'll put it in your ear. Oh, and the, the yeah. back of your ear will itch because the sap is on the back of the flower. Got off it. the ground, perfectly okay to pick up. Now you guys might not recognize it, but I bet you've had it before. If anyone's had cheddar cheese, oh, yeah. traditionally cheese is white. If you want to change cheese to, cheese to a yellow, you have to add a coloring to it. This oh, is going to be your oh. food safe red coloring. Uh, if anyone's had traditional Spanish rice, this is the red in your traditional Spanish rice. Oh, wow. um, it's native to tropical America, but it's used all over the world these days. If you want to try it, go for it. It's great lipstick as well. Beyond the reef. Oh. Till the it smells like banana Laffy Taffy. Mm. Exactly like banana That's Laffy Taffy. That's why the baby's. Um, honey has different flavors, right? Depending on what the bees are gathering from. If anyone's had like wildflower honey, orange blossom honey, almond honey, manuka honey is the really expensive, made from the tea tree in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, you guys might notice our honey, our honey has some dark to it. That dark is the pollen. Um, it's a little less filtered than most. Hawaii is very special. We have a thriving honeybee population. Wow, it does kind of taste like an apple. Oh, I haven't pointed out, on the ground you guys will see logs stacked. 
That's our high-tech chicken security. Uh, so we've fenced out the pigs. The next biggest are chickens. They come and they scratch to the roots of whatever you just planted. Onion ring. <laughs> There's no way I can bite this in one bite. You gotta squeeze it down. The peanut butter gives it a texture, and then the jelly gives it like a sweet aftertaste. It's good. There's a cocoa at the big blue O. We'll throw our nets out into the sea, and all the umma umma come a swimming to me. Oh, we're going to a hooky love. A hooky, 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 hooky love. What a wonderful day for fishing. In the old Hawaiian way, all the hooky loud nets are swishing down in old Laie Bay. Stay with me. Thank you. Do a hooky love. Mm. This is so good. A hooky love. Everybody. Yeah, yours is more fruity. Mine's like more sweet because of the dates. The oh. Last Supper. Whoa. Big boy. I opted for vegetarian spring rolls. I'm not that hungry, so. Appetizer it is. How do you feel about the trip coming to an end? I don't want to go home. <laughs> what was your favorite part? There's uh, so many. The Kalawi Trail hike. Uh, that was so fun. Yeah. I think I really liked the boat, even though I get oh, a little true. seasick. Well, we had Canyon, though. I don't know. It was all that so view. Cool. We're watching the last sunset. I fixed my microphone, SMH. Mosquito bites galore. I'm showing them mosquito bites. <laughs> They're literally... How much is back in my room? All... Yeah, you Do have... I have a lot here? I feel like I have a lot I have here. a lot, too. <laughs> Mine are, like, so freaking massive. Yeah. This one's huge. Yeah. I'm on your right side. 